Can we give Jesus glory in this place today? This is wonderful that we can all come together as believers, lift up the name of Jesus and encourage each other. And I'm going to go back to the book of Ephesians because in Ephesians 4 it talks about why God appointed ministry gifts. And it's for equipping the saints for the work of ministry. And I believe God wants us equipped in this hour and this time to go forth and to preach the gospel, to reach people in our cities and our communities and our jobs. See, God didn't call us just to be saved and to go to church on Wednesday and Sunday. God called us to be effective in our communities, to raise up a standard, amen? But we can't do this ourselves. The only way that we can make a change in our cities, make a change in our homes with our children, to make a change in our jobs, is to be led by the Holy Spirit. When Jesus left, he said, I will not leave you orphans, but I'm going to send the helper, and that helper is the Holy Ghost, amen? And in Ephesians 1.13, it says we've been sealed, amen? We've been through the repentance of our sins and the trusting in Jesus Christ, that we are saved, that we pass from death to life. And we live in a society right now that, that has a, a necessity for something. It has a necessity for one thing, and that one thing is truth. And, and Webster's Dictionary defines truth as one thing in accordance to facts and reality. It's one thing. There's one truth to one answer. And the, the, the truth in this world is that Jesus Christ is our everything. Yes. Is our everything. We live in a society, it's a, a society that's built on my truth. We have uh, something called relative truth or subjective truth. That each individual has a truth that they derive from how they grow up or maybe where they, where they live or, or, or their creed or religion. And it, it's it's invaded the world society, but most mostly it's it's infected uh, the United States. And it's my truth is, is, is my truth is my good. It's good for my family. It's good for the way I grew up and my friends. And your truth is your truth. But that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says as we draw near to God, He draws near to us. And in that process of drawing near to God, we get something. We get one thing, and that thing is true.